What's up everybody, Andrew Steele here. Today I'm here with my buddy Tom. Hello everybody. Hey Tom, what do we got going on here today? Well, we're here today for the Inc. 5000 conference. It's annually held in different locations around the country. They bring in 5,000 of the best entrepreneurial companies, private companies. They have the 2020 Airstream Atlas on display today. So we're gonna take a look at this Atlas. But before that, I'm gonna talk to the folks here at the Inc. 5000 conference and tell you guys a little bit more about this conference going on. I'm here with my friend Hina, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Yeah, so the Inc. 5000 conference is a yearly conference that's here to kind of showcase the top 5,000 new businesses around town. We have a bunch of Sprinter vans going on here. This is the Inc. 5000 Sprinter van that's cool, but what's this van over here? This this other van is the one that really caught my attention here. I don't I don't know why it caught my attention so much, but I mean, take a look at it. What is going to be going on with this van in the next couple so days? We actually modified this van to kind of be like a mobile tailgate. What is going on over here? Hey, so you are looking at our tap van. This van was modified to pretty much be a mobile tailgate unit. We have three of our taps set up here. We interchange the kegs whenever we feel like it, and we just kind of set it up. These two monitors, we have this monitor and one in the back that'll actually hook up to a PlayStation. So we can, we can either play games or we'll sometimes showcase like playoff games and championship games and people can just hang out and watch them. Wow, so this is where you could play PlayStation and everything back yeah. here? So we'll actually have, we found out that the baseball championships are going on on Friday night. So we'll be showing the baseball championships on this side while serving beer from that side. They've got just a ton of awesome information that they're sharing here. This is all the specs on the 2020 Sprinter 3500. The one thing that I really have to say that caught my eye is a max payload of 7430 that's huge and a starting msrp at 33790 okay so this is a private event going on so i'm getting you guys the behind the scenes access but how can everybody else stay in the loop yeah so check us out on instagram at mercedes-benz vans usa to keep up with us throughout the years a huge thanks to hina for showing us all this now we're going to jump back over to atlas and see what's going on with that rig over there so this is one of the coolest vans on the market. Two of my very favorite brands, Airstream and Mercedes, combined to make one of the coolest vans on the road right now. Right, our slogan is the best of the best, combining, as you said, Andrew, combining Mercedes-Benz with Airstream. The quality of the fit finish and the Mercedes-Benz quality and the turbo diesel engine, which should get you approximately 15 plus miles to the gallon on the highway. So it's very sleek, modern, efficient, which is what everybody's looking for today. Absolutely. The very first RV was a 1991 Airstream Excella travel trailer. And I can attest to the quality, the build quality of Airstreams. And then I also currently own, I drive an old $5,000 11-year-old Mercedes around myself. And I have a Sprinter van, actually a newer Sprinter van, actually that I bought from the guys here at Schumacher. It's got about 65,000 miles on it. And it just is such a smooth ride. It's I've, I've beat the heck out of that van. And it's just really held up well for me. So... I can attest to the quality of Mercedes and Airstream. I've owned both of them and just the best of the best. The first thing I have to point out in here is they did an awesome job with all of the colors and the finishes. I don't know if you noticed in the introduction, but the backsplash, and I, I can't tell if the camera was able to pick up how cool the pattern is there. I'm not gonna touch it, but it, it seems like there's a texture there. I'm tempted to touch, Feel free to touch it. it. Is it? Oh, it's, it's, Tom's it's, gonna touch it. All it's, right. It's a laminate and it wipes clean very easily. Everything in here wipes down in five to ten minutes. Microfiber. This is ultra leather on the seating surfaces over memory foam, so it's durable, comfortable, and very cleanable. As a detailer, I'm someone that that cleaning is very important to me. So I'm just still just just looking at all the combination of the awesome finishes. And as Tom was just telling us that, I noticed these cabinets right to the left of him. Look at the cool LED lighting up here, and then the push. Is that just a push button? Yeah, it's there? a push button. We have ambient lighting. It's on a dimmer switch. Uh, this is classic uh, 
Airstream rolls the aluminum here. There's a little lip edge here, so the door closes nice and flush. Keeps oh yeah, that's in the back. Fully finished inside with indoor outdoor carpeting. When you buy this vehicle, you're basically ready to put everything into it. Is there a TV that normally comes this up right here? This is a 40 here? inch. I touch the screen pad, and then we touch the lift for the TV, and it will come up. It's a 40 inch oh, Samsung awesome. with a Bose sound bar. Now, and we're just in a, a parking lot here right now, and are we hooked up to, to generator? No generator running? No, no just generator. Batteries? We're, we're just on the coach batteries, uh, which will run all this. It obviously will not run the alternating current TV. But, but you're able to at least lift this lift up. up. You're able to put the slide out. Put out. the slide out. Put the, the lights on. Put the stabilizer bar. Put the lights on. Uh, there's uh, the refrigerator runs off of the DC batteries, so the refrigerator will run on them, and you don't have to be plugged in. So how cool is this? How the Bose speaker is attached to the top of the Samsung TV. I really like how that looks. Just the overall feeling, and then he was able to run all of that from this really cool touch screen pad here. And I'm just so impressed with all the finishes, even the ceiling. I love the brushed aluminum, or not brushed, just, this, I love. This is the same aluminum that Airstream uses on the outside of their trailers, 0 .040 aluminum. And what's really nice about it is it's not a material. So when you wanna wipe it down, if there's a little dust, if there's anything you cook smudges, you can, you got a tall person that maybe hits their head yeah. against it, wipes clean with a microfiber towel yep. very easily. I'm 6'2", I've still got a few, few inches of headroom in here. Which again brings us to, it's a ducted air system instead of direct. So we've got air return here, we've got eight ducts here, we have two in the bathroom. Uh, All over. Yeah, we have we have a skylight. We Very have cool. Privacy shade. A screen oh, that's shade. awesome. Eyes of this vent. I'm sure it just. If you were to open this out, it would just kind of air out the well, whole coach. I think, really I think if you felt it. Yeah. Once oh, literally. It started going up, the air just started like like in a house. Exactly. We're in a parking lot here in Arizona, so just us being in the coach with no AC running for a few minutes. I mean, it, it started it's about to warm 90 up right now. Yeah, yeah. And literally, as soon as this opened up, it just was like cool air in here. There's two more uh, fans here. One over the cooking area. Oh one yeah. One in the bathroom area. Beautiful. I love all the the aluminum finishes on the the fridge yep. and the microwave here. It's a nice pantry dry there. pantry here. Adjustable shelves up or down, whichever you prefer. A really nice kitchen area here. You've got again stainless steel sink. Huge, really deep a sink deep too. Sink. Huge yeah. storage overhead storage here overhead. as well. In the, in the behind the cabinet in the in, inside storage space here is very cool. They've got a very cool texture. Finish on it. Finish, you know? yeah. Exactly. They're, they're, that's that's the best of the best. Same type of finish here on the on the backsplash for the kitchen. Everything cleans easily, wipes off, and that's airstream. But you do have you know sponge, brush, pull out, utensil drawer. Got a nice large cabinet here. Oh yeah, look at that, huge. And we have a extra straight tray here. You know you got your sink open. You might want to use scrambled eggs or something to set yeah. here. Coffee cup. Is this a, uh, That's a two burner propane cooktop. Okay. And then we also have three more drawer, two more drawers down here. Three. Just nice tons of storage space. I can't get over how much storage is packed into this small Class B. Well, as I say, Airstream and Wally Byam started this in the 1930s, so they got it pretty down pat. <laughs> yeah. But this bathroom, I'm like, well, I keep poking my head back there. I want to see what's sure. going on back here. You do have a sliding door here. Oh, wow. I absolutely love the kind of marine style porthole. And this is iconic too. Yes, when he absolutely. Start, absolutely on all Airstreams, absolutely. on the doors. This whole time, this LED light strip is just drawing me back here. And then the very cool design with the two LED lights up here. Very awesome styling in the mirror. And this and is an actual okay, medicine, medicine cabinet. cabinet. Yep. Yeah. And it looks like you've got a ton of storage space over here. Well, this wow. also is cedar line closets. Wow, I can smell it. it. It really smells good in there. And then a really nice wardrobe. And you can just smell the cedar right here. And even the bottoms are this very cool finish. Every square inch, the side walls. One of the things that I'm really blown away by is how huge this shower behind me is. I'm actually, I'm gonna, can I step yeah, in Yeah, that's why the paper's in there. Yeah, what, so. What, here's the release, just so when you're driving, it doesn't slide yep. around. Then it's just open up and step right in. Very cool, and this is just, thanks Tom, I appreciate yeah. that. So. 
Hey, I'm 6'2". I could definitely shower. I still have a little bit mm -hmm. of headroom here. And then I really like this wooden... That's panel. actually teak. Teak. Yep. And then an adjustable shower head here. So teak all the way floor to ceiling. And just a very awesome design. I can't get yeah. over... And just again, when you want to travel while you're showering, just close it. When you want to travel, you just put this little clasp on here. Yep, this floor is probably very easy to clean too. It, this is a marine industry vinyl floor. It's seven layers thick, about that thick, has a little cush to it, and it does clean up with a spray and a microfiber towel. Many of my customers have said they've gone just to the Swiffers. Yeah. And then they just touch the edges by it with a microfiber. Yeah. I have a 2014 Sprinter, and I'm being drawn into the cockpit area here because it looks like there's been some major improvements made on these new 20s. What's going on? Well, this is a 2020 Airstream, and of course, in the RV industry, the chassis is a 2019. So the 2019 Mercedes-Benz chassis is uh, Mercedes-Benz version 3, the third version of the Sprinter. It's meant much more of a car-like, because you've also driven the cars, Andrew. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, this absolutely. It's more of a car-like uh, finish, and by that I mean, if you start, they've redesigned, as you can tell, the air outlets, you know? Yeah, yeah these are all new. This huge digital screen yeah, and, here. And it's a push button push start. Push button start, I love it. You know, this is it's so in. quiet. So he just started the diesel engine. Sorry to interrupt you there, but I just had to point out, like, I can't, and you even just revved it. He's got it fully revved and you can barely hear it. So very quiet um, and just such a great, just such a cool design. I can't get over just how they keep improving. Yeah, this everything. is a 10 and a quarter inch Mercedes-Benz Ultimate Experience screen. You've got intelligent navigation. Leather wrapped steering Leather wheel. Wrapped I love steering wheel. that. You've got the awesome. car-like shifter. You have oh, the, yeah. the dash yep, shifter. That's true. I, so, my shifter is kind of down here yep. in the center area. Right off you have here. four cup holders. Yep. These cup holders are much better. One thing is the Germans they are not fans of cup holders. I mean, I remember in the mid 90s, <laughs> Mercedes dealers were twisting their arms to put cup holders in the cars back then. So they're, they're coming along and they've actually got some pretty decent cup holders well, here. We've got so. four here and we actually, out here, oh, yeah. out, out here in Arizona, more. I say you can put your coffee up there and it stays hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true story, true story. Uh, so but, yeah, you've actually got eight cup holders, four up here and then another, another four here. Big gulp here type of thing. And then if you look at the, the the touch controls on the steering wheel here again this is all very car like you've got volume control media control this is a full-time rear view monitor oh that is awesome yeah. so we're looking at a full rear camera it it's just very simple and if you saw as we were driving andrew i never made a wide turn i drove yeah. this just like a car absolutely i can actually leave our driveway and turn into the bicycle lane that's how agile this vehicle is there really is a 2020 feature that's not on this vehicle you guys are probably wondering where are you going to sleep in this and the coolest part about this coach is actually the awesome design it actually has a murphy bed right here so tom how uh, how hard is it let's it's simple if you just pull off that Airbus. I've never done this before, so you're seeing this live here. We're putting it to the uh -huh. test. Oh. All we have to do is... Uh, He's just pressing a button here. Press the button on, on the couch. It flattens out so that the Murphy bed can come down. Belts okay. front and back. And if you notice how nice and counterweighted this is, it took almost nothing. Zero effort. Effort. Wow. Memory foam mattress, and there's actually a what they call Froley. Oh, how cool is that? Spring system. Oh, that is... I mean, that is really cool. The reading lamps yeah also have a usb port on and them. then yeah then you've got storage space um when it comes down and then you've got a huge window lease over here and you just lift it and it's wow easy. just let it go and it oh i just sorry it's yeah. just totally effortless so press the button and bring it back to a wow circle. hey so cool we're running out of time here but tom i cannot thank you enough for showing us this 2020 airstream atlas awesome rig tom any last words for the youtubers at all well watch andrew he's up to date he's on top of it we appreciate all his help on this and if you have any questions please give me a call at 480-538-6127 
Schumacher, Mercedes-Benz, Airstream, and Phoenix, Scottsdale, Arizona. Thank you all very much. Yeah, absolutely. Can't thank the guys at Schumacher, Mercedes, and Scottsdale in the Sprinter Department for sharing all of this with us. Great people. A class act operation. Can't thank them enough. Can't thank all of you for watching. I greatly appreciate all of you and hope you're all having a great day.